So I, my last question is on, and um, I wanted to uh, request the court for me to address the court under section 216 of the CPC, but I've also been made to understand uh, that some of the witnesses were affected. You might also want to present the court Victim impact My name is Edwin Okello. I'm a prosecutor from the office of the DPP. Uh, it's, a, it's been a seven-year journey, uh, which is finally over. Um, and I think uh, it's been uh, uh, justice served for the victims of Westgate and uh, the country at large. Out of the four accused persons, two have been convicted. And I think that... Uh, uh, the, these accused persons were the ones who supported the attackers who attacked Westgate, uh, who perished in Westgate. So, yes, uh, I think um, having uh, obtained that conviction, uh, it's a vindication of, of the case we presented to the court and also uh, justice for the victims and the country at large. I am, however, satisfied that the prosecution has proved its case against the first and fourth accused persons on the respective charges facing them hearing beyond a reasonable doubt. I find them guilty and convict them accordingly. There is one accused person who was acquitted, that is the second accused, and uh, well, you know, it, it sometimes it's difficult to have a perfect case. Uh, and sometimes, again, um, one might be looking more at uh, a few of the loopholes than the larger picture. But I think uh, the fact that we are able to prove this case and we've gotten uh, two of the accused uh, convicted is what is important. Uh, we also learn uh, from the judgment, and that is why I've also told you we are still going to uh, study this judgment, um, uh, learn from it, and uh, take whatever necessary action is needed to be taken. In the present case, I find that there is a strong link, a link for the first and uh, fourth accused persons in their communication to the uh, attackers that they were involved in the conspiracy. No, from those... Uh, three counts that the accused persons have been convicted, the maximum penalty is 20 years. Uh, sentencing is as a discretion of the court, uh, but the court will allow us to address it on the issue of sentencing and uh, 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 looking at the nature of the attack, uh, the number of fatalities, those who are injured, uh, we hope the court to exercise that discretion judiciously and, uh, and give a, uh, a justified sentence. And that is why uh, we want the court to see the impact and uh, we made a request to, to lodge in uh, victim impact statements, which is allowed by law. So the court calls for pre-sentence reports in respect of both accused persons. On the day of presentation of the reports, the parties will also offer mitigation.